Do you email tasks into Todoist? Well, if you do, this week's episode is just for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode it's all about emailing tasks into Todoist. Now some of you are probably thinking, duh, I know how to do that, but do you? Because there is a hidden feature in Todoist that I've known about for a while but I've never really played with it until recently and I think it can save you an awful lot of overwhelm and long lists of inbox tasks. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. How to remove a long list of email tasks into your inbox. Okay, before I go any further, I would just like to say if you learn anything special in this episode, if you learn something new, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would consider it to be this huge thank you if you would subscribe. Okay, let's go into Todoist and I'm going to show you a really neat trick of emailing tasks into your Todoist. Okay, so what I have here is a regular recurring process action today email task. Now, what I've got in this is in my daily routines project or area of focus, if you like and it recurs every single day. So if I just go in here and we look at my, <coughs> look, sorry, we go in here and we look at my days and it comes up every single day. So there we go, it's coming up every single day to process my action today email folder. Now I don't have a flag on this because this is something I just process at the end of the day and it's the only task I have left. Imagine this is the only task I have left for the day. Now the biggest problem that I see most people doing is they just forward their email, their actionable email, directly into their inbox. Now it depends on the kind of work that you're doing and how many emails you're, you, you get every day but that can just fill up your inbox. Now when your inbox gets full and it's the end of the day and you want to start processing you know your brain is just going to go ugh I do not want to do that and you're going to resist and you're going to procrastinate and it's not going to get done. So your inbox just becomes a huge long list of mess that with, with stuff that is relevant, stuff that's current, and more troublesome, stuff that is no longer relevant, stuff that is no longer uh, important. So the way to handle this, if you really want to send email to to do is to remind you to action them is to go into the notes part of your email. Now this is only going to be available on your premium users um, account. So if you're using the free account to do it, I'm really sorry, this does not, it's not going to work because you don't have access to the notes. But for those of you using the premium version, what you can do is add comments via email. So if you click on this uh, email or this envelope and you will get the actual, the email address that you can send directly to the comments section of this email. Now this is great because what this means is, is that you only have one task, you click on the notes section and you'll see how many emails you are left to process. It, it helps your brain to not see a long list of stuff in your inbox. It's just one task and you might have five or six emails coming into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick demonstration. So here I have a pre-prepared email and this is about the time, the Life and Time Mastery Workshop which I am holding with Kevin Blackburn next month in Scunthorpe in the United Kingdom. So if you are available on the 20th of April, this is a free workshop. It's going to have a wonderful drive up or down to Scunthorpe and you can spend the day with us. I will be there, Kevin will be there and we will be talking all things about goal planning and putting together the COD productivity system in, which will incorporate your goals. It's going to be a fantastic day and I would love to see you there. All you need to do is register. It is free. Just register and all you need to do is go to the link which I will put in the show notes of this and you can register for free right there. More details will be coming very soon. 
Anyway, enough of the promotion stuff. Um, but it's free. I'm not asking for money. It's just free. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to send forward this email now to uh, the Todoist note. So what I'm going to do is I've already pre-prepared this. I've got Todoist. And because I have Todoist like add task, which is down here, uh, this is a task that's going to come into my um, Todoist. So I've got Todoist process action today email. And all I'm going to do is hit send and that's going to go off. There we go. It's gone. I've sent that over. Now we've just got to give it a few minutes to get there or a few seconds. There we go. It's gone. So all I need to do now is hit sync in my Todoist. There we go. It's come up. Now the problem with the way that the problem that I have is because I have an email, uh, I have an image in my email. So I'm going to get rid of that. I can just delete that now. You don't have to do this because really what you're doing is coming in. So now I've got this email forward time and life mastery workshop. So I can just click on that. That's going to open up the email right here. And that's going to come in. And there you go. I've got the email right there. And I'm just get rid of that. <laughs> so the email has just come in. And there we go. We've got everything set up as you would want it. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's how to do that. Now, if you want to do the cleaning up part and you want to do a little bit more detail, let's get rid of that one now. So let's just delete that. Um, particularly if you've got time. So let's just uh, I'm going to move that one and uh, that should disappear. Right. So let's say I want to forward this one. It's fresh again. I'm going to forward this. What I can do is when I do that, I can actually change this, but I don't really like to change the subject because that messes up my email. I can get rid of the uh, the signature and what I, can, I could even get rid of this if I wanted to. Um, but I do want to know when the email came in. So uh, register for this event. Uh, I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, I'm going to type in Todoist. That's going to come up and hit send. So I'm going to send that off. So now it's cleaned up a little bit. Not perfect because this has already got, if you look in here, um, this has already got the signature, but there it's gone. So I'm going to hit the sync button on here and sure enough it comes up. So, uh, But what I've got here is register for this event. So now I actually have a actual uh, action that I'm going to need to do. So it's actually telling me now you don't have to do this because you know, maybe the email is obvious, but this is something that I like to do if I was going to use this. To be honest, I don't usually need reminding, but this will then send, be able to send me off to my action today folder. Again, I can just say, do I need to action this right now? Do I need to do it right now? I can just click it. I can open up the email. I can just check. There's no, no, no. I'll do it tomorrow. So you can do things like that. The other thing is, is obviously as you send stuff to your email, you're getting a number. So you don't even have to enter that. If there's nothing there, you don't even have to go into the notes section because you know you don't need to process anything. So you can just click off and it's gone. Okay, hopefully that's given you some uh, ideas. You can use this obviously for anything you like. You can actually use this for projects. You can actually create a, a contact for a specific project where you can actually uh, email notes directly into the project. And that's actually really cool because if I go into here, let's say let's take this project over here and I'm going to go into, let's say my great business idea. If you go to the side here, you can see project comments and you get the same ability to add emails. So you can send emails relevant to the project directly into the project itself without cluttering up the project uh, task list like I've got here. So there you go. Any, that's just an amazing way of using and one of those hidden features in Todoist a lot of people don't know about, but actually can keep your Evernote task, your Evernote, your Todoist task list clean. Hopefully you've got something useful out of this episode. Don't forget if you have found this episode useful and you have learned something new, then please help me by clicking that like button below. I would be really grateful if you ha would do that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would consider it to be a huge thank you in my favor if you would just subscribe to this channel. Okay, thanks very much for watching. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. 
it shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.